Hello everybody, welcome to Mike's Mike, my name is Mike. First of all, I just wanna say that I really like the button up shirt that you're wearing today. Looks fantastic. So recently over on the Bluebird app, I've been seeing a lot of tweets about times tables, which as we know, is right up my alley. If there's ever any kind of content on the internet loosely related to maths or science, you know I'm there. <laughs> I'm kind of like a moth drawn to it, like a math moth. Math moth, <laughs> it is so stupid. <laughs> so here are some of the tweets that I have been seeing and you might think this is a prime opportunity to be ranking them, but no, I think I'm done with the rankings. I think I wanna move on to fighting because I need a little bit of violence. So to summarize what's happening here, we are pitting times tables against each other to work out who is the times table supreme. <laughs> So there are 16 times tables here. Now at the top left, we've got 11 times 11 versus seven times six. 11 times 11, she's visually pleasing. That one, 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 is this binary? No. <laughs> six times seven, I would say is just chaos. Like 42, what the hell am I gonna do with 42? So in that sense, I think 11 times 11 outsold in all key demographics. Nine times six, the rumors are saying equals 54. I can't confirm or deny. And I've also been reading the tabloids that zero times zero equals zero. Zero times zero equals zero. Like who else has that range? Apart from one times one equals one, but we don't talk about her. Like one of one equals one makes sense because there's one. Or none of none is none, but there's nothing. So nothing of nothing is still nothing. I think that just has so many connotations. So she wins. Next we have one times zero and nine times seven. Nine times seven is 63, which is a ratty number. Let's be real. That's a ratty number if I've ever seen one. Based purely off vibes, I would say that 63 should be a prime number. And the fact that she isn't a prime number, there's a scam in there somewhere. And you guys know I love a scam. Like how is 63 not a prime number? But then back at the ranch, one times zero is zero. So one of zero is zero. One set of nothing is still nothing, but it's technically one set of nothing. So you have a set of something, but that something is nothing. And as we know, nothing of nothing is nothing. So. I like Lady Gaga, I think she's a really interesting artist. I'm gonna to have to put nine times seven is 63. We need some of that nine representation. I think nine is largely underrepresented in mainstream media. That's so upsetting. So next we have a bunch of nerds fighting. Five times five and eight times eight, they're both square numbers, so it's a battle of the squares. <laughs> if you've seen my ranking the days of the month video, you would know that I love a good square number. And five times five has a clean square number energy and eight times eight has a sharp square number energy. Does that make sense? 25 is clean, 64 is sharp. I'm gonna go with five times five just because it's a clean number and we're in the middle of a global pandemic and you have to be clean. On the other side, we have 10 times 10 and six times eight. 10 times 10 kind of really annoys me. 10 times 10 is, yeah, great, you're 100, but what else? Go, go, give us nothing. Six times eight, I think, is the more improved version of eight times eight because you have the eight in there, but you have the six, which just makes it a little bit more fun. So six times eight outsold 10 times 10 on the pop 100 chart. Then we have seven times seven and seven times eight. This one, I know I'm gonna struggle. I'm absolutely going to struggle with this one. So in fact, let's skip it. I pretend I do not see it, but in fact, I really do be seeing it, although I don't see it yet by choice. Wow, okay, ready for this one? Two times two and two plus two equal the same number. Who has that range besides zero? Zero times zero and zero plus zero are both zero, because nothing plus nothing is nothing, nothing times nothing is nothing. Wait a minute, hold on. Because nothing plus nothing is nothing, nothing times nothing is nothing. So nothing is nothing, period. I know there's an over-representation of square numbers in this, but I just have to put two times two through. She just has too good of a range. Four times three and three times seven, 12 versus 21. Wow, the palindrome girls. Four times three, I would say is exciting, but a pre-pandemic kind of exciting, like something that I would do pre-pandemic and be like, yo, this is such a great time. But three times seven, I think is intriguing. And it's something exciting post-pandemic, like three times seven is the club, four times three is the cafe. And for those flawless reasons, I'm going to put three times seven through. Okay, now back at seven times seven is 49 and seven times eight is 56. Seven times seven is 49. How do I feel? Swirly? 
I feel swirly. What does that mean? I really just be saying shit, hey. Seven times seven, in my head, visually, if I can visualize what that looks like, it makes sense for it to equal 49. But seven times eight equaling 56 is so strange. I don't like it, but I appreciate it and I fear it. So she makes it through. Kind of the same way that I am scared of Miranda Priestly, but I respect her. So seven times eight is the Miranda Priestly of the times tables. Congratulations to all the girlies that have made it to round two. First off in round two, 11 times 11 versus zero times zero. Hmm, hmm, think. One, two, three, two, Nicki Minaj blank. Um, zero times zero. Nine times seven and five times five. I don't even have to think twice about this one. I just know deep down that nine times seven is just, she's that bitch. Six times eight and seven times eight. It's the battle of the eight times tables. 48 versus 56. 48 just does not have the range that she thinks she possesses. 48 lent shoes to 56 and then 56 went in the diary room and said that 48 simply does not have the vernacular that she thinks she possesses. And if there's oh, stones finished. missing, your big feet have knocked them out. You know what, out. bitch? Your big everything knocked them stones out. I don't need your fucking shoes. I don't need shit from you. She just doesn't have the vernacular that she thinks she possesses. Flawless logic, seven times eight makes it through. Two times two versus three times seven. It's two times two. <sighs> Semi-finals, okay. Zero times zero versus nine times seven. I can't do it. I give up, big brother. I don't want to play any more games. I don't want to play any more games. Okay, I think I've reached a decision and I know this justification is going to make some of you mad and click out of the video, but so be it. I think zero is very much a secondary character if 63 is a primary character. I would say zero times zero makes it to season three of the show and then gets killed off, but in a really cool fashion, so then becomes a fan favorite. And 63 makes it to the end of the series, may not be the fan favorite, but she made it through. Seven times eight versus two times two. Oh my God, I can't do this. Okay, look, I think seven times eight, she's getting the recognition that she deserves on Twitter, but the girlies are forgetting two times two. Two times two is so powerful. This should have been the final. I'm gonna do something controversial, cancel me. This is my first cancellation. Go ahead and do it. Two times two makes it through. Ladies and gent, we have arrived at the final showdown between nine times seven and two times two. If this was Drag Race, I would say that two times two has been in the top three, three times and won once, and nine times seven has been in the top once and won once. Two times table stand before me, yet I only have one photo in my hands. The winner of America's Next Top Model and or times tables bracket fight is two times two. Congratulations, two times two. You know, this is such an... Oh. Yes? I'm feeling a bit sick about this. I'm so sorry. I understand. I don't know what to say. Two times two, I'm so sorry. Um, I just got notified, I'm shaking. I've been notified that we actually crowned the wrong winner. The winner is actually nine times seven. Congratulations, 63. Um, hmm. so I just put nine times seven in there and then the two times two disappeared. And here's me scrolling to show you that it's really not there. Hello, ma'am. She said, if I'm not winning, I'm not staying. That brings me to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like. If you've got something to say, and I know you're gonna have something to say, leave me a comment. And if you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you in a couple of days. Peace out. Bye. It's Crystal, let's go home. Welcome to the end screen. Here you will find another video for you to watch and a link to easily subscribe to my channel. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. <laughs> The winner of Mike's Mike Bracket Fight wins a one year supply of Anastasia Beverly Hills and a cash prize of $100,000.